Hi guys, John the Firearms Instructor and welcome back to our channel. I'm glad you're here. If you're a returning guest, thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, my name is John Johnson. I'm a firearms instructor in Cape Coral, Florida. We specialize in firearms training. Uh, we do concealed carry classes and all the stuff for a gun store and gun range. We're in Cape Coral and where the day is 89 degrees and it's in February. That's why you live in Florida. Not only that, but Florida is the gunshine state. So it's pretty easy and uh, very, very uh, gun friendly. So today we're going to be talking about handgun safety. And it's pretty elementary. Uh, we all know the four handgun rules about treat the weapon if it's always loaded, keep your finger off the trigger to your ready to fire, never point the weapon in anything you love and don't want to destroy it and always keep the weapon pointing in a safe direction. And you can always add the fifth one is know your target and what's beyond. Some have four, some have five. Doesn't really matter, Both all those are important. What's most important is to understand loading and unloading sequence of a weapon. I think the majority of people who hurt themselves just don't know how to unload a semi-automatic pistol. And what we've done in all of our classes is I put an acronym together for you. And it spells DROP, D-R-O-P. And we'll get to that. And I think you can see it over my shoulder here as well. But I want to talk about what the gun is and what the weapon isn't. I say gun all the time. I should say weapon. Because it could be a shotgun. It could be a rifle. It could be a handgun. They're all the same, really, when it gets down to it. Um, one of the things we got to get our, our head around is a weapon is a tool and it needs an operator. Too many people get up in here that the pistol or the rifle or the shotgun is a deadly weapon. And actually, <clears throat> it's not deadly at all. It has to do with how it's being operated or lack of knowledge. And this is where it gets a little squirrely. So we've got a Glock 19 here, and I'm going to assume that you're watching this because you don't know how to load a semi-automatic pistol. And if you watch any TV show in the world, they're going to show you it. But I'm going to go through my safety, uh, safety uh, in mind, basically. So what do we call the magazine? We call the magazine the life of the gun. If you get your head around that right off the bat, uh, that's going to be important because the bullet itself can't go into the gun by itself. The magazine holds the rounds and if we pick the weapon up and we check it, make sure, if we pick the weapon up, you saw I picked the weapon up, my finger off the trigger, and we put the magazine in, we're not loaded yet. Why? because we haven't racked the slide. All right, when we pull this back, that puts a round in the chamber, all right? Now I know, and you probably know, if I put my finger on this trigger, it would fire. But what happens at this point in time, I wanna unload this pistol, what would I do? Do you know? The acronym will tell you. The very first thing we gotta do is take the life out of this gun. And taking the life out of the gun is by dropping the magazine. Once I've dropped that magazine, the gun could still fire, couldn't it? Because there's a round in the chamber. Then I want to rack the slide. And that pulls the one out of the chamber. Now, when, if I show all my students that, I never rack it once. I do it a couple times. And then from there, I'm going to put the gun at slide lock. I'm going to check it with my visual here. I'm going to look. And I'm going to physically check as well. So D is dropping the magazine. R is racking the slide. O is opening the weapon. And P is physically checking it. Cool thing about a semi-automatic pistol, guys, you can see daylight all the way through it. You know the weapon is empty at that point in time. Let me give you a demonstration on what I think happens to most people is they put the magazine back in, they rack the slide, then they think to themselves, well, I gotta get that round out of the chamber, so I'm gonna rack it again. When I racked it again, then I take the magazine out. When I racked it, one came out, the other one went in. 
And then because they visibly saw this round pop out, they assume that it's not loaded and they get themselves hurt. But watch this, guys. Reason why that was there, because we racked it before we dropped it. So never forget the acronym D-R-O-P. It could save your life for someone you love. Reason why I'm telling you this, guys, is these weapons in your home, in a safe, not loaded, will not save your life, right? This gun's got to be hot, ready to rock. And everybody in the home needs to know how to load it and unload it. It's priority. Gentlemen, women, if you're bringing guns in the home and you have family members that don't know how to load or unload, make sure they watch this video and make sure you demonstrate to them as many times as possible until they get it. Because it's imperative they understand that a gun in the home could be considered and should be considered loaded at all times. All right? If the weapon is loaded, where's your finger not going to be? Not going to be on the trigger. But always remember, guys, booger picker off the bang button. So important. That's more important than anything else. Last thing I'll tell you, guys, if you're new to shooting, one of the things I want you to get your head around, too, is what these are and what they aren't. It's not a deadly weapon. It's a tool. I could change out the weapon to a spatula. If the spatula itself can't flip an egg by itself. So keep that in mind. Guys, if you like what we're doing here, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. It helps tremendously with us growing our subscribers. Until next time, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line of defense. We'll see you, folks.